G'day there everyone. Now, if you are using Smartsheets as well as Microsoft 365 and also Microsoft 365 Copilot, then what you are going to learn in this video is how you can connect a Copilot agent to your Smartsheet data and then use Copilot to have that uh, conversation with your tasks and your information inside of Smartsheets. So let's get stuck into how we actually get this set up and start using it. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to jump into the search and, or the, the Copilot connectors uh, section inside of the 365 Admin Center. Now you can see I've already got a Smartsheet connector connection already configured, but if I go into our gallery here, you can see that we've got a lot of different categories that are there already that already have connections for us to utilize if we are using that these type of tools, all right? So if I go to my connections and I go add a connection, you can see that I've got different, uh, different blades here. So what I could do is I could search maybe for, let's go for Salesforce. So you can see here that I can add a connector here to Salesforce as an example, all right? And if I flick over to, uh, let's go for something else. Let's go for files and documents or hu human resources. I'll just take the filter out of the search and then we've got different um, different uh, platforms or other SaaS products that we can actually add as connectors. Now I have gone already and created and added a Smartsheet connector, which we can see here. And if I open this up, let's just have a walkthrough of the configuration here. We can see that we've got details, we've got stats, we've got errors, and we've got our index browser here. So if we can have a look, we've got our details, when the last refresh was of the data, when the incremental refreshes are, etc. Now I can jump in and go to edit, and this is where I can edit the settings. I've already set it up, so there's a few things that are grayed out. I've got my users, so I have enabled this for everybody but you could see only people with access to this data source would be recommended as well. Um, and you could utilize that option. Now I'll jump over to content and you can see that there's 10 items that, that are going to be surfaced from Smartsheet, all right? And these are the properties that uh, we're, we're going to be able to interact with. And here I've got my sync section. So I've got my time zone, I've got um, the ability to change the incremental crawl and also when the full crawl of the data happens. So at the moment, I've just got it set to every day uh, and a recurrence of our incrementals to every 15 minutes, all right? So that is all set up. Now, once that is set up, that allows us to use this connector when we're creating a Copilot agent. So I'm going to jump over to our agent builder, all right? Now, I've already got one created here and we'll come back to this one. I've called it Smarter Sheets. Now, if I click on Create Agent and I just flick over to Configure here, what we will see is if I jump down to my, my knowledge section for this agent, you can see that I can choose not only from my SharePoint and Teams and Outlook emails and meetings and I can upload files, I can now use this Smartsheet data source and I can add that as a data source for this agent and I can start to interact with our Smartsheets. Now, I've already got one created. So I'm going to jump into edit mode for this agent that I've already got created, just following that exact same process. So I'm gonna jump over to configure. You can see that I've got my description for my agent and I've got my instructions for my agent as well. So I've got the agent name, I've got the purpose for this agent, I've got its capabilities, um, I've got the sample queries that it can answer. I've also got some rules and behavior on how I want this agent to act, all right? So I always wanna check for comments and tasks. Once checked, double check again, because I did find when I was doing this before that it sometimes it, it just missed the, the comments that are associated to tasks. So once I added this um, rule here, to double check and then check again, then that seemed to um, seem to help the agent just to make sure that it, it didn't miss anything. I've got some example outputs here uh, and we are then ready to go. 
with our instructions. I've also got a couple of suggested prompts here. All right, so let's jump in and give this a bit of a test. All right, so let's say, um, can you get me all the blocked tasks for project alpha? So I'm going to ask the question to our Smarter Sheets agent. Let's have a look, all right? So what that's going to do is that you can see that it's using that connector that we've created. And here I've got my blocked tasks inside of Project Alpha. You'll notice that I get who it's assigned to. I've got the, the, the phase and I've got my comments here, all right? Because again, I reiterated that I wanted it to double check, all right? Now let's say, um, can you get all the tasks uh, that Daniel Anderson has? All right, and let's have a look and see what we've got here. All right, again, going through the connector and here's the summary, all right? Looks good, let's keep going, all right? So what about, um, can you give me a break down of tasks by category, present that as a pie chart, and then underneath, create a table with the same information. All right. And let's see what happens. Now I did have the code interpreter turned on here as well. So what that helps with is the ability for us to, to grab this data, analyze this data. You can see that this is now, this agent is now analyzing, all right? So it's looking through that connector, analyzing the data, and then it's going to come back with hopefully a visual representation of our tasks in a pie chart, but also with the data presented as a table underneath. All right, so let's just wait for that to analyze. If we break, pop this down, you can see what has actually been been doing, uh, what the agent's been doing there, all right? So if we scroll down, we've got our table, and you'll notice that what has happened, and we'll keep this in the video, because what has happened is it's taken the context of the, uh, the previous conversation, all right? So let's go back and uh, say, no, sorry, I meant, um, I didn't mean just Daniel, I need all tasks, please, all right? And let's see what happens here, all right? So again, it stayed in context of that last conversation, all right? So let's, um, and this is a, a good point about adding context. So context is extremely important when we are working with, whether it's prompting, working with agents. So providing our agent or any AI with the correct context will give us the, uh, the, the best output as well. If we don't provide that context or ex explain what we, we are explicitly after, then the result, as we saw, uh, wasn't uh, wasn't what we wanted, all right? So you can see here, I've added that extra little piece of context and I've got my table with a task breakdown. I've got the, uh, the tasks, the category, and also the assigned to, and now I've got the result that I'm after, all right? So I've got my pie chart, I've got my task breakdown by category, it's nice and visual, and I've also got this here. So let's keep going, all right? So what we might do is, Let's just go back to our blocked, um, our blocked task. Um, let's say, can you look at the comments for the blocked task and tell me why? All right. So what we do is we use Smartsheets as uh, with our tasks, and we use the commenting functionality just to provide a little bit more information here. All right, so it's assigned and you can see here, uh, kick off with stakeholders, that's the task, and it's currently blocked due to the availability of the client. Now I do also have the, the citation here directly to the task tracker um, uh, part of Smartsheet. So if I open this up, now this is just a, a demo environment. So if I open up the Smartsheet, it gives me a direct link here. 
All right, and then we can go to the task tracker board here. There it is. And you can see that it's taking me to that place. All right, so really, really good. Now, what else can we do? Let's maybe say, um, what about, um, let's prepare for a standup. I am preparing for our weekly standup. Can you give me the big picture, uh, big picture of the, of let's say project alpha. So again, context project alpha uh, that I can present to the team, please. All right. And let's see what happens here. All right. So we're getting ready. Tomorrow's our stand up. Let's get a quick oversight and overview of where we're currently at. All right. So I've got a weekly stand up. I've got the overall status. Um, we can see that with most task initiation planning phases underway, here's the phase breakdown and key tasks. We've got our um, phases, we've got our tasks, we've got who they're assigned to, we've got risks and blockers. All right. So it's picked up the risk as uh, that task that has a blocker there. Um, and then also uh, we've got all, all of our owners and all the statuses of each task, all right? So that is a, a really good prep, right? So maybe we wanna say, uh, can you write a follow-up email to Jamal um, and just ask if there is anything we can do to assist uh, with the block. All right. So again, a couple of spelling mistakes. It's AI. It'll understand what we're what we're on about here. All right. So here again, I've just got a little email that I can then in this agent then just copy and paste it into an email and send it across to Jamal. All right. So there we go. We can connect and create connectors into our other line of business applications from our Copilot agents that will then give us added value and added functionality, productivity there as well. So you can see I've just been conversing. It's like our junior um, product or project manager as well. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching. Now, if you do like all of this, uh, all of this content, make sure you are subscribed to the newsletter, danielanderson.co forward slash join every single week, emails landing into your inbox with this type of content uh, to hopefully get your mind racing about the potential and possibilities of Copilot.